What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're going to play this blue-green nonsense list. This It's like a blue-green. It's basically blue-green flash. Um, everything has flash, except for Mu Yanling, uh, which might be the reason that some of the pros, specifically Martin Juza and Shahar Shanhar, who are playing this in an event, uh, do not have this, this card in here. Instead, they have two copies of Opt. And uh, then Shahar Shanhar actually specifically has one less copy of Essence Scatter and has one copy of Awakening of V2 Ghazi, which is super interesting. Uh, for those who don't know... Nope, that's not. Awaken Om. <clears throat> that's, when you, that's when you wake up and eat. Awakening of V2 Ghazi is 5 mana instant, so again, you're keeping with the instant team. You put 9 counters on a land, it becomes a legendary 0-0 zero, zero elemental with haste, and uh, you just get to swing for, for 9. Um, so he has he has one copy of that over the Essence Scatter. Um, and like I said, they have two ops over the two Mu Yanlings, but I don't know. I like this deck having a Planeswalker, but I also don't like... I mean, literally every other card in the deck is an instant or flash. Flash, instant, instant, flash, flash, instant, 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 flash, <laughs> flash. So it's like, this is the only card in the deck that prevents you from from only playing on their turn, which might not be good enough. It might just be worth keeping the deck entirely flash. Um, Felix Last Life, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. I do like having the one Awakening of E2 Ghazi because A, I'm a big fan of uh, obscure cards like this uh, that could just win the game out of nowhere. And also because, you know, it's just cool. And we can probably take out one Essence Scatter. We're not hurting for counter spells, so we're going to try this deck out. We're going to switch out Jund Reggie's over here. Also, I mentioned earlier, my ear is, my right ear is clogged and it's super miserable. It's like the least fun you can have. And I just, I just scheduled a haircut for tomorrow at 2.30, so we're probably going to be doing a little bit later of a stream tomorrow because of, because of haircuts, but... Haircuts butt, he said. But, you know fine by me also I will be playing in the alias V tournament that's happening on Saturday which I think starts at 9 a.m. it can't be 9 a.m. Eastern right because that'd be like 6 a.m. for some people I'll keep this in oh god it's gonna be the mirror match it's gonna be miserable I hate mirror matches so much I have not tried jamming a toilet plunger against the side of my head. I have tried uh, just doing like one of these jobbies where you like build the suction and then you just pull it away. It doesn't, it hasn't done anything, but it's in the past it's, it's, it's helped a little bit. Uh, pass, pass. I get my brine on. If it's a blue source, I might just keep it. Mm. I just don't think I need a fifth land, but I am hurting for blue here. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna send it away. Is this guy gonna get? Is anything gonna happen to this guy? Uh, hydrogen peroxide. I'm using actually some drops that are 6.5% hydrogen peroxide. Sometimes I usually just use actually just I just pour hydrogen peroxide straight in there and just hold it for a little bit because it de you can definitely hear the the hydrogen peroxide working when you do that. Dude, I feel like I get an ear. I feel like this ear gets clogged. This it just my right side gets clogged like once every I don't know every two years or so. Like I'll just have a, an air clog. It's just it's it's really frustrating, but. So I actually think we're just playing against Nexus here. Well, that's all right. Did 
Listening to you talk about pouring things in your ear is making my eyes water. Have you tried sulfuric acid? No. But I imagine that would take care of not only the ear clogging problem, but many other problems as well. Pass. Pass. Um, I guess, I mean, drawing a card just feels better than opting here, right? But also just playing Night Pack Amateur feels better than both of those things. So, I'll do that. Oh, a root snare. Ooh, you got it. I guess we'll end the turn. This is 12 damage. If we can go opt negate, it's all it's 14 on board, so. Um what is the revealed card? What is that revealed from? Search for Oh, do they put it in the graveyard to search for Escanta? Sure. Um Yeah, that's fine. See that I care about. Yeah, I'm like you're just dead now, right? Because <laughs> what would you have done though? You tap out for Tamio, and then you, you're tapped out though, right? So like, what is that? I don't understand what that does. Take out the Tricksters. Put in Spell Pierce. Bronto Don seems great. Vivian Reed seems also great. Unsummons can go. So we have three cards, we can go Bronto, Vivian, Bronto. <clears throat> Essence Scatter can also go. All right, so we can bring in Bronto, and then this guy and this guy. Yeah, that seems good. Does anything else just hit creatures? I don't think so. No, this seems good. It's a good configuration. Oh, it's Rob MTG Jank himself. Brontodon was a good reprint. I am a bigger fan of Reclamation Sage. I think that's my favorite three mana destroy an artifact or enchantment. I mean, not only is it easy to, easier to cast, but you don't have to sacrifice it to use it. Um, <clears throat> the 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 converse of that is that you do have to, uh, if you want to destroy the artifact or enchantment, you can't just play it when they don't have it, right? So, like, if you're waiting for a Wilderness Reclamation, you have to literally wait until they play the Reclamation to cast Reclamation Sage. Um, so you're not getting in that damage in the meantime. But when they do have it out, you know, you get to keep your Rex Sage. The alternative is that you get to play your, your Bronto Dawn and then wait for them to, to play their card. And then you still get to use it. But they can also deal with your Bronto Dawn in the meantime. So a lot of different uh, a lot of different pros and cons there. Bertimus Maximus. Ooh, double forest, huh? Nope, don't like that. Oh yeah, keep this. Um, let's actually get rid of opt here. Because I think our hand is great. It's your boy. Ooh, all right. Come on, root snare this. One match from Plat Ball Ready. What's Plat Ball Ready? I have no, I, I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, all right, you got it. Focus and meditate and prepare. Oh, 
I got a root snare. Oh my god. So I just did a magic online thing where I saw that this was up here, so I thought it was the stack. And I was clicking next to go through it. Like, okay, if I hit next, this will go away and then it'll resolve, right? But really, I was just passing through to my turn. Which is much worse. Oh, that's so sad. I want to pay two life here. Life isn't super relevant in this matchup. And, uh... Oh, man. Wait a moment. Farter of snails? <laughs> See, look, now it says I'm going to be like, okay, well, let's resolve this because it's the stack. This kind of threw me off a little bit. What is the... Get out of here. I want to see the mana. You stupid biscuit. Yeah, now we could have a... This guy could be a 3-2, which would be just great. But alas. Wow. Spell here, huh? Must be nice. I know I noticed this somewhere. <laughs> well, yeah, I think not having this guy on board was huge. Tammy would be at two right now. They wouldn't be able to get something back. Like, yep, that was a game-costing mis misplay there. Unfortunate. Also, me and Rob, uh, me and Rob played a sweet Golos deck in Legacy on Monday, so uh, I wrote about that this week for CoolStuffInc.com. So definitely check that out over at CoolStuffInc.com. You can find uh, should be still on the main page. We ain't afraid of no Golos. Wow, that's great. It's it is a Golos format. He's right. I'm gonna add two mana and then I'm gonna play Nexus of Fate because that's my favorite card in standard. Because I don't like my opponents to play the game, I just like to watch. I like them to watch me play the game because that that fulfills my uh my desire for voyeurism and magic the gathering, you see. You got it. Well, now I'm not even going to attack then. Next two attackers. How'd you know my love for war? I mean, uh, you know. This is all combat damage? Sure, no attacks. Oh, I have another spell pierce, idiot. <laughs> Look at all my guards. I'm all good at everything you do. Oh, crying out loud. I hate this deck so much. All right. My problem is that, like, I could probably win that game. I mean, eventually, like, there's no there's no guarantee that I've lost, right? I just don't feel like... I, the, the, the effort required to win that game from the position that we're in is just not... Not something I'm willing to expend. Who has the time? I think your deck is pretty decent against the deck because you play during your... T yeah, right. I agree with you. I can't believe you lost to a guy with such... I know. I didn't... It's so embarrassing. Oh. But I'll keep this because Opt. Opt says, you know what? You can keep this hand. We also have Spectral Sailor, so... Uh, yep. Yeah, we'll and if they really want to Spell Pierce this, that is their... Oh, 
so good at this game. One more land? Oh, God, we're so good at this game. <sighs> I always miss cube. It's all I do. Not a growth spiral. Yes, a growth spiral. Uh, oh, I like that. Yeah, I can keep you. Four, four mana is good. I'm satisfied with four mana. Um, I can't really do anything about that, so... Okay. One win from Plat and twice my opponent thought it was me to see four plus plus lands. Four plus plus lands in hand. Four, these are not sentences. <laughs> four plus plus lands. What's a plus land? To see four plus plus lands. I have no idea how to parse that sentence. I shouldn't have to work this hard to understand what you're saying. That's all. That's all I'm saying, man. I didn't know it was I don't know what the typo is though. I don't know what 4 plus plus lands. Like I don't know if it's a plus land, like this is a kind of land, like a plus land is a kind of land. I don't know if you have cards that cost 4 plus plus lands in your hand. I'm like, it's hard to understand. I, I don't know where the typo is. Four lands that are five. Next time you look at them, four plus plus. I see this. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, no, he's not going to say gain lands. Rob's not going to be playing four plus gain lands in hand. I guess we'll draw a card. Four plus lands total in my hand. A hand with only lands. Oh. See, alright. Man. I would love a fifth land here so we can Vivian read, but now I'm just afraid of Spell Pierce. I guess we could just play Shifting Ceratops and attack for like a thousand. I'm gonna keep up spell trips here. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. You are great. <sighs> A fifth land? Don't you mean four plus plus lands? Someday aliens will find our old chat, lo chat logs and we'll be wondering what four plus lands are. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, God. Oh, boy, don't I feel silly now. I mean, it's still fine. If they want to block here, then we get to 5 4 them. It's whatever. They're just taking it. Oh, they blocked. Okay. I did not see the block, but that's fine. I'll resolve a Vivian Reed. Would you like to see me? This is my newest friend. I 
mean, they could make a guy and then have two left over. It's fine, I guess. They were at four, though, so... Well, now they're at six. Sure. I have a Vivian Reed on board. Don't I just kill this thing? That seems great. No one said, ha, I've seen worse. You got it. Do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I can only do one thing, so I might as well give trample, right? Spell Pierce. Terrifying. Two, three, four, five. I think we win this game. I feel good about it. Okay, resolve. The three. Um. I think we just let this resolve. We play Nightpack Ambusher. That's five damage, and then we can kill this guy with Vivian Reed. Like, you know we have this in hand, because you saw it from Vivian Reed. And now we just get to kill you. Seems good. This deck seems fun. I, I appreciate it. That rent total is lit, eh? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna blaze that rent total, man. But have you played Teamer Elementals? No. I mean, yes, we did. We did for the early access event. Keepable. 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 We sure draw a lot of forests for a deck that has eight islands and three and like five forests. Oh boy, do we take two damage to maybe unsummon something? Probably not. Nexus alone is not a big deal without it. I agree with you. You're, without it, you're playing like one. Um, and also, Wilderness Reclamation isn't uncommon, so there's there's less feel bads when your opponent. Uh, well, like if you get your Wilderness Reclamation banned, you're like, or yeah, you're like, oh no, it's just my uncommon got banned. Big deal. But um, uh, yeah, that's fine. Whereas if you paid like 30 bucks for Nexus of Fate and that gets banned, you're just like, oh, well, that sucks. I can't even... Because it's a fun card. Like, I don't think Time time Warp for 7 mana is a, is, is a really problematic card by itself. What I do think is that when you have 5 lands, turning them into 10 lands and being able to... You know, or 6 lands, turning them into 12 lands, 12 mana is not... It's not okay. Because then you get to search for Ascanta, search for Ascanta, Nexus of Fate. Like, it just gets, it gets, it just gets broken. What does this guy do when it enters Battlefield and a star creature? You can ignore goblins you control. 
Um, Cinco Pate for one. My turn. No, cancel that. <laughs> this is where they're like. Scare the critics, scare the critics. Chain Whirler. Oh dear. Brett, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, my dude. Wow. Yeah, okay. This guy. This guy. This guy. Saw it was two. Thought I'd log it. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. All right. I guess we'll take three. Actually, that was probably better to just bounce a token, right? We bounce a token, and then we block the this guy forever. Yeah, that would have been better. No attack. Yeah, no attacks is fine. Yeah, if it doesn't shuffle back in, it's just like temporal mastery, but without any sort of advantage whatsoever. I guess it is an instant, so it's like, well... Can we double block safely? Yeah, let's get rid of that first strike. Oh, come on, this stupid guy. Oh, I'll kill your 5-4. Alright, whatever. That's fair. Sell two for one. I'm okay with it. Ooh, alright. Well, now I feel like we're in a relatively safe spot. They're going to play this guy, they're going to attack us for four, and then they're going to try to shoot us. This puts us at two, actually. Maybe we're not that safe. I wish I could attack with both of these guys, but then we'd be dead, so let's not do that. Okay, I accept. I will block. Feel bad about the lack of a trade. Come on. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not attacking here. Because that would be... Suicide.
<laughs> Red player played his fifth land instead of holding it up, eh? Eh? Well, you know, sometimes you want all the land. Well, I... With Icon, I can see it because you do want more lands when you have this in play because you can just activate it all the time, but... Man, they're tanking here. I wonder if this this Night Angel with Night misspelled is deliberate. That Because that's awkward if it's not. If they just accidentally spelled N-I-G-T-H instead of N-I-G-H-T. If they just accidentally spelled Night wrong. Well, that's just... Are they dead here? What's going on here? Glorybringer will be sick. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Oh, uh, let's take action. Fry Wilco, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Fry Wilco back. Oh, that's good because we can play it. So they have to block here. So this is fine. What they can do is block and shoot our face and then, like, you know, a creature with haste wins in the game. I guess it doesn't win them the game, but... Oh, they did not shoot. Oh, they can't shoot us either because, never mind, they have... Uh, all their lands are, are tapped, so... That's about right. That's about right. Okay. Aether Gust. Seems very good when their entire deck is red. Probably better than Syncopate, right? This guy's just big. So he can come in. Negate seems fine, but it's like, I don't think it's great here. Awakening might be too cute. We can just bring another Brontodon. Spectral Sailor also probably too cute. Brontodon's just big. It just blocks three fours very, very well, so. Bring in that, that beefy boy. I think that's probably fine. He prefers Beefosaur? <laughs> I don't know what that even means. I assume that we all prefer the Beefosaur on some level. From the great author Brent Weeks. <laughs> oh, Lord. We have a good time. We have a good time. Come on, opponent. Choose whether you'll play first or not. Also, next week between Monday and Friday, I will be uh, I will be the Wizards sponsored. Uh, oh, I guess Wednesday is my sponsored day, but next week is my Creator Spotlight Week for Wizards, my Content Creator Spotlight Week. So that's pretty sweet. And I'll have like they they give you like thirty packs uh, of of every every legal set to open and stuff. It's pretty sweet. So uh, I guess we'll keep this hand. Temple's rough, but whatever. If it's an island or a blue source that comes into play untapped, we'll, we'll be keeping it. You gotta go, my friend. Sorry. I like you. Oh, well. Alright. I really wish we had more islands uh, than forests. We seem to consistently draw more forests, even though there are far more islands in the deck. Huh. 
post combat, huh? Hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, I can't stop it, so. Uh, let's go cut through here. Well, I was hoping for a land. I guess we can try to find a land. God, playing opt on our turn feels real bad. Missing a land drop feels worse, though, so. Okay, well, now we're just dead. I almost want to concede right here, actually, because if they just go Chain Whirler, attack for four, like, we have nothing going on. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you. Yeah, we have eight islands and five forests, and we keep drawing significantly more forests. Double opt, I'll... Ugh, sand seems bad. I take two, and then I opt, and then I opt again, like, is that better than just hoping for, we're on the play, alright, we're gonna keep it, okay, lands, done, lands oh we're doing it guys we're living the dream we have no two drops so uh, actually perfect yeah all right this worked out quite well here comes two one ones yep. i'm actually tempted to bounce the token here just to like, minimize their pressure i don't really need to opt here because i don't there's nothing i really need and now we get to keep up double sabotage, which is great. Yeah, but I also think, don't think end of turn Kaya's Wrath should exist either, which 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 leads me to believe that Teferi is the problem. Like, if they can just go Thought Erasure on their turn, that's fine. It's a totally fine card. Um... I don't want this because I have another land, but I do want to play Nightpack Ambusher, so, okay. It also lets us keep up Sinister Sabotage and Opt, which I think is fine, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're way ahead right now. I think Narset's fine. I think in combination with cards like Teferi, though, it's really hard to deal with. Yep, you can have that guy. That's a great block. I mean, Narset is basically just a divination um, where you get to draw two. And yeah, we'll keep that on top. Um, the two cards are always going to be spells, right? But then she just sticks around as a one minute, like a one loyalty planeswalker, which I think is it's fine. I don't think Narset is super oppressive. Volley veteran, huh? So they're gonna kill our, our night pack ambusher? Nah, buddy. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, I mean, Thought Erasure is literally just Thought Seize, but for two mana, right? So, I mean, like, if you're not banning Thought Seize in, in, when it was legal and standard, Thought Erasure just feels worse because of baby, either uh, because Little Teferi, which lets you cast at instant speed, or because they get to Surveil, which I don't really think. Uh, 
is that big of a deal. Wow, double div divine visitation? That's interesting. It's probably because I have most of the mythics and like the only ones I haven't fleshed out are divine visitation, but that's still pretty sweet. Shove Jr., thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Should we open this pack? Okay. Chandra's Regulator. Mount up. Thought plus Disinformation Campaign plus Thief of Sanity. Right, that, that does feel bad, but that's also like three cards that you have to assemble in standard. So it's like, it's not actually that easy to like. Yeah, this is good. Open the pack shirt tucker? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh, it's from Letterkenny. Interesting. I've only seen like the first four episodes of Letterkenny, but it's been very good. What's going on here? Come on, buddy. I'll bottom you. I think we could do without a fourth land this early. I imagine we'll get one naturally. So we're currently 2 0, which is nice. Uh oh, they're going to elemental all over our face. Oh, it's happening. Well, that's no attacks. Healer of the Glade in the main deck. What a time to be alive. You know what? I'll allow it. This seems actually great against the mono red decks. You're just like, well, I'll gain three and have a blocker for your 2-1 and your 1-2. Uh, see, now I'm like, oh, I wish I kept that fourth land. What a dummy. But we do have Negate, Double Trickster, and a Sinister Sabotage, so. I don't really want to attack here, because then I get to trade for one, so. Oh, cancel that. Oh my god, there's so many little things in Magic Arena where I accidentally click. And I'm just like, well, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh yeah, that's got uh that's not a thing we're doing. Oh yes, keep you. Oh boy. Get in there. What are the odds they have another one, huh? Does it lose creature types? It loses abilities until in no, it's just abilities. Resolve. I guess we want no second Omnath. Well, I guess Omnath is not bad because they'll deal three to this guy and we can. Yeah, that's fine. I really don't want you to quad block here, but then you take nine. Yeah, we'll just attack with these guys. Sure. 
Uh, let's put you in the front. These guys are elementals, though, which might be more relevant. I think having one elemental left on the board is just fine. What are your feelings on the Cali burrito? Has french fries in it? Um, I don't think I've ever had a Cali burrito. But I think I'd be okay with it, depending on, uh, depending on what was in it. How much can we deal here? We tapped this guy down, we attacked for a million. One, two. It has french fries in it. He just said that. Wow. Wow. What does Healer of the Glade say about how bad Healing Solve is? Uh, it says it's pretty bad. What if you just gave him a 1-2 creature along with it? Uh, yeah, that's still probably not good enough, but it's close. We're getting there. Wow, they're blocking with Risen Reef. Okay. Fine by me. Make another wolf. This card is broken, dude. Okay, it's not broken. That's hyperbole as hell. That's hyper hyperbolic AF, but I mean, it's still very, very good. I'm a fan of Night Pack Ambusher. I just get to sit here and do nothing, and then it gets the Hunt Master all over their face. You're like, I didn't see the extra text. I just thought it was a 4 4 with Flash. No, it actually makes creatures. That's pretty good. I feel like we're very far ahead right now. Does anybody else get that feeling? Um. Yeah, I don't like that a lot. Okay, that'll do. Night pack had French fries in it. Did you just say that? Uh, I didn't. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have French fries in it. I think so. You know. Keep that dream alive. Vivian Reed doesn't seem like she does much here. Not, none of these cards seem like they do a ton. Aether Gust seems good. Probably just better than Unsummon here, right? I heard there was a burrito that had french fries in it. Yeah, it's called the Wolf Pack. Or Night Pack, whatever it's, whatever it's called. Did they not invite you to the Magic Slayer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, they did not. Who saw that coming? Wizards hate you now? Wizards, uh, I don't know if I've been... Uh, Wizards has not been my biggest fan for the longest time. I don't think I've ever been like in Wizards. Good, I'm not like I'm not like Talarian Community College or like the Command Zone guys. Like, oh, free free deck code in the chat right now, guys. Oh, there's a uh, oh, there's like they're only giving away so many. That's interesting. How do I know what the code is? Where is it? This is a lot of work. I'm just trying to figure out what the code is. Oh, it's a giveaway. And click here. What is going on? This is a lot to read right now. Okay, I'll do it. Ten. Oh, we did it. Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to play this guy. Okay, so now I'm gonna, oh, I can't do it right now anyway because it's in my...
Uh, pass, pass. Mm, this guy. And, oh, all right, okay. Well, we're not really big on the green right now, so. Man, who would have thought Spectral Sailor was going to be in a in a competitive deck list? Am I right? Why would I ever click on a link by a guy named Trojan? That's hilarious. I'm a fan of what you're saying right now. I'm just going to run out Trickster here. The faster we win this game, the faster we can enter our code. How have they not played anything yet? That's my question. Pass, pass. I don't think we want a trickster here, though. I don't want to, I don't want to throw all my tricksters away. Maybe they have 4 plus plus lands in it. <laughs> you know, they probably do. Let's be honest. They probably do. Uh, you ever thought about faking your own death for YouTube views? I have considered faking my own death, but then once I really, once I consider the legal uh, the legal ramifications and uh, the difficulty in doing so, I, I'm usually pretty dissuaded by by doing so, but or from doing so. But it still has crossed my mind from time to time. I don't know what my opponent's doing. They're like being aggressive here. Oh, it can't be countered. Okay. Okay, boss. As your unofficial producer, I recommend that you fake your death. Wow. Yikes. Uh, as my unofficial producer, you would likely need to also uh, find me. Yeah, we're just going to ask and scatter this. I don't want this guy coming back at a later date. Uh, you also need to find me good legal counsel for when I get caught. This blue-green deck seems like it's missing black. All blue-green decks seem like they're missing black. Uh, Why would you tap two blue for that? That's a weird choice, my dude. This is six damage. Woof. Yeah, you keep that for next turn. You'll be dead. They go to one here. Man, where's the justice? Just fake your death again when you get caught. <laughs> See, now you're thinking. Now you're talking. So we have uh, Frank Laporte in custody because he tried to fake his own death. Well, you see, the thing about that is he died again. It's unbelievable. You got a three here. You have one blocker, so you block here and then you die. All right, I don't understand these. Well, now that you played a thing, I'm just gonna play this guy and tap your tap your tap your buddy down, tap your little your little snaky boy down. This is a snake, right? No, it's a hide. It's a it's a it's a hydra. What is this creature type? Hydra snake fish. Is it a jellyfish? Uh, dead. Store, that's where we're going. I was like, where are we going? I don't know. Alright, let's redeem this thing. Oh, yes. Free Chandra deck. Oh, Ravnica Allegiance. Let's see how many gems we got. 20? Sounds good. Yeah, we have that entire set. That does nothing for us. Hydras are just multi snakes.
Yeah, we'll keep it. Of course, Essence Scatter is significantly worse if we're playing against, like, Esper or something, but, you know, what are you going to do? They played a breeding pool, so that's okay. Just change your name to Guy Incognito. <laughs> you mean change it back to Guy Incognito? See what I did there? Because that was my original name and then I changed it? That's what I'm... Dude, having this one ear clogged, I feel like I can't hear what I'm saying. Like, everything is muffled, so I feel like I have headphones on. So I'm, like, trying to compensate. Do I, like, talk louder? Because you guys can't hear me? Because it sounds like I'm talking lower than I am? Or, you know, what? What's the deal? It's very weird. It's very disorienting. And then it's, like, when it eventually gets unclogged. Um... An ear bore? <laughs> oh, yes. This is what we wanted to get that guy out of here. Um... Earbore turns all your ears into swamps, so that's that's solid. Oh, Tonus, yeah, I'm definitely familiar with the hydrogen peroxide method. Uh, it's also very satisfying to hear things bubble in there as they're breaking down. But um, I've been using drops so far that have hydrogen peroxide in them, but it's not nearly as concentrated. But I think hydrogen peroxide just by itself is probably... Is, it does feel weird. It feels super weird, yeah. Agreed. Um, and I think this card is such an integral part of this deck, so I'm just going to not feel bad about countering it. I'm sorry. Do I play this now? I don't think so. I don't think there's any reason to have a second one out where it's just a pump spell for for Brian, Brianborn Cutthroat later. I'm probably going to draw a card here. Uh, we all have the option to also play both of these if we'd like. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I could just order you some new ears. You know what? I'm literally afraid of what you would of what you would send me uh if you did order me new ears. See, I kept hitting pass to make this go away. It's kind of... It's kind of something. Um, uh, let's just put to the board. I like it. I like it. I don't like it. They would go out with your robot teeth and laser eyes. Hey, buddy. These are natural bone teeth that means oh my god new year's incoming oh jesus <laughs> oh god i have like a box of things that kerwood has sent me just like weird shit that he sent me like monocles and glasses and masks and stuff like it's fantastic but it's also one of those things you just keep in your house and you're like yeah this is just a box of weird shit that i've been sent uh no blocks all their blue-green spectacle deck, de decks, deck, uh, cards, that's what I'm looking for here, are, uh, are now triggered, so. Like, I really want to draw cards, but I really want to put good creatures on the board as well, so. I guess we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, we're definitely playing this untapped. We are not in a great position to attack there, unfortunately. Like, they're between 15 and 13 when they have a 6-6 six, six flyer is not much. It does have Trample, which is very unfortunate. Usually we're in a better position than this, but... Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Well, let's draw a card. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, we cast a spell, so we're not going to get a wolf this turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I think we're actually probably dead here. Yeah, I, I was considering we had a wolf to block this guy pretty easily, but they also have a million cards in hand. We're just going to skip here. Well, there is no and viv in the main deck, so... Um, yeah. Okay, well... Aether Gust counters everything, basically. It's probably just better than Unsummon outside of casting cost. Uh, Shifting Ceratops with Reach is actually pretty good. We'll take out the Awakening. I don't... It's just because the Awakening is bad. I just don't think it's better than, uh, like, these other cards that we're boarding in. So what's bad against them? Essence Scatter seems great. Negate? We actually didn't see many things for Negate. I, I feel like we can take Negate out here. Rob, you actually might have met Brett before. Brett actually plays at shortstops, so. Probably a Merfolk Trickster. The flowers have been there forever. I've noticed them. Any chance you're going to play the, the Hearthstone event? What is that? What is that? What are you saying? I'll keep this. Again, three forests out of five when we have eight islands in the deck, but whatever. I want to bottom you because I don't need no five drops. Okay, well... Here comes turn two, uh, Reef, Reefer Boy. Who does call you that? Literally no one. Okay, that's fine. I accept. Now we're, now we're living. Randoms? No. No no randoms call you that. Yep, that's gone. You can put that in the garbage can. Oh yeah, keeping that guy for sure. You know what? You can have it. I'll allow it. Pass. Pass. My turn? Oh, let's play this guy. I'll counter it with my essence scatter. Yes. No? Yes. No? <gasps> what? Wolves for days. I will trade all three of these for this guy if that's something you're interested in. Aether Gust. Okay. Take action. Put on top, take action. Sure. Deal. They're like, well, now we'll just attack because there's no way you had a second one in hand. But there is. Trade here? That's a good trade. Well, I'm the 
type of wolf that likes to settle down. I pump all my friends. This is what I did do. I don't want to play this wolf. He's gonna pump his bro. I don't know why you blocked like that, but I guess that's one way to go. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Is this where they go uh, mass manipulation for two? Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Of course it is. I guess we should have played this, tap this guy down, and then just killed them. Yeah, that would have been a good play. Now we're now we're one mana shy of doing that. Yep, that's sad. Good. God, one land. Oh man, I can't believe we definitely would have won this game had we uh, Merfolk Trickster DOT. <laughs> they got one land war tribe out. No attacks. It's okay, they only have five cards in hand. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, you got it. Wait, what? Why didn't they ask me to go to the end step, dude? I was going to tap this guy down pre- uh, Alright, well, I don't care anymore. I'm just absolutely done. That's super frustrating. Oh, boy. Well. Are we 2-1 or 3-1? I can't tell. It's so hard to remember these things. That's a stop you have to place manually. Well, you know what? I don't believe in that. I dropped a thing on the floor. I think it's a cashew. So rich, you don't need that cashew. Oh, it's okay, guys. It was just an almond. It was not a cashew. It was just an almond. I'll have to get that. Seems fine. Not a nut of consequence. <laughs> Jesus, why is that funny? I guess why is it as funny as it is? Because that's pretty that's pretty hilarious. Cash outside, how about that? Yeah, you guys are I, I don't know how to say it guys, but you guys are a lot funnier than I am. I should be subscribed to you, I'm sorry. I think I'm funny enough to like I can get you here. I can get you to this place. That's how funny I am. I'll bring you here. But then you guys really carry the ball once we're here, and I appreciate it. Oh, man. No attacks. End the turn. 
I want to see you shoot this guy. I dare you. Oh, boy. If this is an essence scatter, it'd be great because then they could be like, they'll be like, respond to this. I really want to play two things, though. Oh, no. They kill this guy in response, right? Like, I guess we just let this guy go. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. Come on. I mean, they're going to have something else for sure, but, you know, we can't avoid it forever. Oh, wait, this is great news. Okay, resolve this. Oh, man. Oh, man, we're doing it. The dream is alive. I'll take two. We're in a cape. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Just living your best life, that's all. We're going we're gonna to sinister sabotage when this dude comes down. Steam can never come back. Lightning strike on this prime. Yep, there we go. They got all the they got all the tricks. Oh god, I can't keep a four drop when I don't even have a fourth land. Really magic. Alright, take it easy. You don't have to judge me. I don't need your judgment. I'm at 10. I don't feel like going to less than 10. Yep, that's hard to deal with. Well, if we could, I mean, we should just play more more lands like the red deck does, and then we can hit our fourth land more consistently, I think. That's really what it comes down to. Blitzkind, thanks for saying so, buddy. Good games. Good games. I do remember your name. I remember you. I mean, on the bright side, we can counter something, but, you know. Go from 23 to 19, then maybe you can hit that fourth. See, the thing is, it's funny, because I, th I thought there was, like, an algorithm issue on Arena. Not issue, but, like, a feature. Where, like, if you had fewer lands in your deck, you would be more likely to draw a couple of them. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> no, nah, I don't want this card. No, no. Please. You want this. Which one of you broke? How'd, how'd you last? Do you work at Twitter? Are you, uh, James, do you work at Twitter, buddy? When I put mono red, I definitely got a good mix of lands. Yeah, it's weird. It's, oh, look, another, another non-land card. I guess I'll just pass here.
Okay. You know, sometimes your opponent has a Chandra at five. Uh, you have three lands in play, and uh, then you just win. I, I expected no less, to be quite honest. That's uh, totally, totally expected it. I'll probably play a couple more games with this deck, and then we'll switch it up. I think the deck is good. I actually, I'm enjoying it. I will keep seven. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind a Hydroid Crassus or two, but the problem is that like, a it goes against playing on your on your opponent's turn, and b, um, uh, I actually like that because we can play it next turn. Um, also, you're not having you don't have any sort of ramp in the deck whatsoever. You don't have Nissa. You don't have Land of War Elves or Paradise Druids or things of that nature. So it's you're really at the mercy of your own lands, and like as you can see, we're not drawing a ton of lands. Whenever I see a stomping ground, I just assume it's going to be elementals. More like smell elementals, am I right? Whoa! Whoa! I'm countering this guy because he just begets more threats, and then it's just a 4 4 on the board. I guess if they powered it up, we could have unsummoned it next turn. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll keep that. It's unimpressive, but it's still fine. Oh, see, now we're in good shape here. Now we just get the frilled mystic. I'd like to baguette more spaghetti. Don't do it, man. Eh... This one is gonna. This one's gonna kill themselves for you. We can only hope, Brett. We can only hope. I'm a simple man. I like my opponents to kill themselves with their own mana base. What do you think about essence capture instead of essence scatter? Um. Yeah, that's fine. I like this because ooh, because we can still do the bouncy, bouncy bounce. That's the thing I just said. We can still do the bouncy bounce. I did that once with an ancient tomb. Ancient tomb is a hell of a drug. Let's play this guy. Pass. Pass. Shock that guy. Let's opt. Um, I'm bottom that. I think four is like where you want to be in this deck. I think I replay this guy for sure, but we save our our. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I guess that's fine actually. I mean, they still get to go to six. And we have two answers, so they play a thing, we counter it. We attack, they play a thing, we counter it. Well, that's just rude. That's unexciting. Ixalan's binding. That's gas. That's gas. <laughs> <laughs> End the turn. Yep. I mean, we know the one card you have in your hand, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not play a two-turn clock when you have to play this guy. And we just hope this is nothing, I guess. Got him. Thrilled Mystic. Getting the job done. Ooh, July 19th is the new season of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That is exciting. Alright. So they're playing like Naya things. 
Take out the awakening. I might just want Vivian read. Actually, this is an instant. I don't want to like have <laughs> unsummon. It's actually a, a solid resource for your own for your own creatures when you need to save them. Um, Merfolk Trickster is a card that's fine, but it's not super impressive. It's just a, it's just a creature that we have because reasons. Oh, I actually feel like Aether Gust is just better than Unsummon, right? Oh, we can also bounce our own Frill Mystic, right? Choose a red, choose target spell or permanent that's red or green. It's under puts. Oh, because we we don't want to put it back in our on our library, but maybe we do. Probably don't want to. Actually, like unsummon more when they have uh, the guys that are. This also gets rid of Ixalan's binding, which is nice. No one can beat Richard. Well, that's, uh, actually. Based on the, the reception of Artifact from Valve, which was a Richard Garfield game and was, was heavily, heavily hyped up, um, Richard Garfield seems less unbeatable now than he did. Uh, keeps up. Is Keyforge good? How good is Keyforge? I've seen people see. I've seen people like it, but I also don't know the uh, the longevity of Keyforge. Like, I don't know how long it is for the world, right? Like, it could just be like, hey, this is fun to play for a little bit, and then they're like, all right, I'm done. I'm... I wonder how what the uh, what the longevity is for a game that has to like that 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 you only build your own decks right in keyforge they're just like you open them up and you're like okay this is my deck right i think the collectible nature of magic is one of the things right because like i'm like okay so i just have a bunch of keyforge decks but like some are going to be worse than others so aren't those just done if you're not, like, able to mix and match them. I really don't understand the basic premise of Keyforge or how it maintains. Like, it seems like a fun game where, like, hey, I'll, I'll buy a deck, you buy a deck, we'll play them against each other. But then, like, you're probably going to find out, like, one of them is going to be stronger than the other, right? This is sad because we can Trickster here, but then in response, they'll make this guy bigger. We can Cutthroat here, but in response, they'll make that guy bigger. Growth Chamber Guardian seems very good against us. Hmm. Okay. Well. Wow, there's a lot of Adanto Vanguards. Hmm, boy. Um, no blocks. Uh, can't really eat a vanguard. Like, they can just respond by making it indestructible, right? I mean, this at least prevents them from being able to pump this, or to to get the other creatures, right? So, 
still take a 10. Trickster make it, makes it lose an indestructible? I guess that's true. I guess that is how that works, isn't it? We didn't play Frilled Mystic Man, that's pretty bad. They're at 14. We can gust. Yeah, we'll say no attacks here. They have one card in hand. I feel like we can probably mitigate this somehow. Going to six here. We go to four. We have one card in hand. Four power on board, and that's good, right? Also, that gives your creatures plus one, plus oh. You definitely should have played that first and attacked with everything. I'm pretty sure I'd be dead if you did that. So we go block, block. We take three, four, five. We're pretty much dead. Yeah, I think we're dead here. Time for game three. Back into plat. You mean plat ball ready? I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Okay. We can bounce this guy block here. We take three, four, five still. So let's... Cons yeah, I think the misplay was... I forgot about the, the trickster removing the indestructible, actually. That was probably uh, not ideal. But then again, them getting another Growth Chamber Guardian into more Growth Chamber Guardians is also not. So I didn't even, I didn't see a, a Danto Vanguard game one. I think Trickster can come back because of that. I think Spectral Sailor is actually probably too slow here. Maybe we just on Brontodon? It stands up well to um, to Vanguard, but not to Growth Chamber Guardian. Got one to gate one on summon. We'll bring in two Brontodons. Take it over here and bring another Brontodon. Oh, we get a free. Oh, we get another card. Uh, probably an unsummon. Eh, I, I do like negate against Teferis and their rules that they have. Maybe unsummon is just better though. Yeah, Rob, what are you playing? <sighs> I'll keep it because of the opt. I don't love it, but opt is all right. All right, here we go. We get to look at three cards, essentially. Nope. Draw one now. Nope. And... Nope. Cool. Cool. One land in the top nine cards. Ten cards? Yeah, top ten cards. Great. Would have loved to be able to to counter that guy, syncopate that guy, but alas, yeah, that's no bueno. Thank you. Yeah, artifacts looking brutal. Dingus egg, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Drawing lands is overrated anyway. Yeah, you ain't kidding. You are not kidding.
Right. The problem is they have no way to pump it. They have no incentive to pump it. So uh, they just force us to... Like if they... Yeah, they just have no reason to pump it. And we, we can't play anything until they pump it. So it's like it's terrible. I mean, like it sounds good in theory. But like if we play anything, then they pump it. So it's like we have no way to apply any pressure to the board whatsoever. Maybe they make a mistake. Yeah, well, no. Seems unlikely. I mean, they can do this now, and we return to the top, and then they just replay it, play a land, and then pump it immediately. Because we'll be tapped out, so... Whatever. Hey, look, now they pump it immediately, right? Yep, look at that. Good times. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes... You miss one land drop and it changes the entire game. I mean, we kept... I mean, so, like, basically, keeping a, a one lander with an opt is basically the same as keeping a two lander so long as the two lands are in the top ten cards of your deck. And they just weren't. Everything changes the entire game. Wow, that's that's philosophical right there. You got it. And no attacks. End the turn. Make a wolf. Good times. I mean, I guess we're just hoping you don't have two lava coils. Is that a lot to ask? Or we can just play Ambusher number two, which seems much better. Yeah, I like that better. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Like, if we just play another another Ambusher, then pass the turn with Frilled Mystic up, we make two 4-4s. Four like, that's pretty brutal. And they're 5-5, five five, so they easily dodge Lava Coil. Yeah, that's fine. All these things are fine. Pass. Come at me, bro. Oh, boy. I mean, really hoping for no, uh... I mean, if they have Lava Coal, they can kill one of these two. So. And then we still get to keep Ambush. So they go Lava Coal on this guy. We still get to keep one Ambusher. Yeah, whatever. Wolf dies. But we still got an Ambusher, so it's fine. I would have loved this to be an unsummon here, because this guy's problematic, but 
I mean, even if we unsummon it, like, it just, they just replay it. It's not a huge deal. Is it true that Hunter is a wealthy oil baron? Yeah, I can't really, I can't really confirm that. Yeah, three mana up, right? So we can, if we had another land, it'd be great to play Brineborn into Sinister Sabotage, but... Like, there's no, there's no reasonable situation where I'm letting this Aurelia resolve. I hope they don't have Lava Coil, but... I mean, I can't just let an Aurelia resolve and... Hope their last card isn't Lava Coil, so... Rock and roll... Alright, so... I don't think it's a shock. And we also price you out of having shock if we just kill double block of this guy. You get to kill one thing, so. This seems good. You take four if you want to save your, your vanguard. If you have shock, you can kill this guy, but then you don't get to pump this guy, so. Alright. Seems good. So we take four, we lose a Frilled Mystic, keep a wolf. I'm okay with it. You're at eight? Are you just dead? You go to one here if we attack? It's a bold strategy. Can we get Hunter a top hat? He would definitely hate it. Wow, we just win that game, all right. I mean, it's only seven damage, you'd only go to one. We don't win the game. Either way, that's probably where we're going to end this because it's been an hour and 40 minutes. This deck seems sweet. I'm enjoying this deck a lot. I didn't even see that card. So, for the record, this is the deck. It will be posted in the description. I'm a big fan of it. It might be an option for this weekend's event, uh, which starts on Saturday. And I'll likely be streaming it. 100% be streaming it. And uh, it is a standard event on Arena. And I have to submit my deck by July 12th at midnight. 12.59. So, Friday night. And, uh, yeah, this deck could be an option for sure. It's the sideboard in case you guys were interested. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Slam those follow and subscribe buttons if you're hanging out on Twitch with me. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. You can check out my article. Check out my article at CoolStuffInc.com. It's about Golos and Legacy. It was super fun. And uh, leave a comment on the article if you guys have not done so. It's definitely helpful for me to do so. And uh, it looks good. It shows the enga there's engagement. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. I guess that's all I got. See you later.